Hi Cancers, thank you for joining me for your general reading for April 2024. As always, you only take what, it, what is resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't resonate for you for someone else, okay? Because it is general, we're pulling from general energies. It's going to be really, really difficult to get your specific situation, okay? Right, um, hmm. so your rune... For the month of April, Cancers is Algis. Now, normally, um, it, when, when this comes out in the upright position, it's about protection. So this straight away tells me that either you're needing to up your game when it comes down to... Um, your protection okay so that that could be in the form of energetic protections um if you want to do like a protection ceremonies that sort of thing okay up your game with that refresh them um it can also be about like protections in terms of your own personal boundaries okay so be mindful of anybody trying to manipulate you in such a way that you're actually going to go against um, what you know is going to be the right thing for you, okay? Uh, some, someone's trying to get you to drop your guard, basically, and Spirit's saying, okay, Cancers, we are protecting you, but there's only so much we can protect you, okay? Um, you, you're needing to help yourself out, and you're needing to help us out by maintaining those personal boundaries okay um don't say yes to people when you really mean no okay standing up for yourself in a way that is non-abrasive um protection right it it it, it irritates me <laughs> because cancers they do tend to get taken advantage of um, same for a lot of Pisceans as well, okay? Now, this normally is about sanctuary. So, it could tell me that at this point in time, you're not feeling safe, right? You're feeling unsafe for whatever reason. Um, potentially, there could be some kind of hidden danger that, that's going on. Um, I'm definitely going to need to pull more cards to find out for you guys, okay? Any kind of hidden dangers, we're going to pull it out of your tarot, all right? We will. That, that's guaranteed. Um, something to do with a taboo topic as well, with algas in reverse. So maybe you're considering bringing up a taboo topic with another person and you don't know how to approach the topic of conversation or you could be ignoring something as well um, out of fear because the thing that you're ignoring is the context of a taboo topic, okay? It could be taboo in your own religion. It could be taboo in the ways of, like, sexuality or... Do you know what I mean? Like, th there are so many different types of taboo topics. Um, some of you as well, you could be hiding your spiritual gifts uh, because it could well be a taboo topic for, for your particular religion that you were born into um, or your your own family beliefs or anything, okay? Um, it, it's your interest or otherwise involvement with a topic that is or would be considered as being taboo by a certain sect of society, okay? Um, Algis in reverse. This can also indicate a warning as well. So again, any messages like that, Cancers, don't worry. We are going to pull it out of your tarot and we are going to get advice for you as well. Okay, I never, ever, ever leave the reeds hanging. Okay, that's not why I'm here. Um, if you feel... Now, here's a really good way of increasing your own energetic protections. If you feel that you're in need of additional protection at this point in time, Cancers, then trace out this symbol of algis. So it's basically a Y, the letter Y, with the with the stem of the letter Y shooting straight out the top. Okay, it's really quite a simple symbol. Trace that out on a piece of paper. 
you can keep it under your pillow, in your pocket, in your purse, wherever. Just keep that symbol close by. It's a very, very powerful protection rune, okay? So that's for those of you who are feeling that, that you could do with tweaks and adjustments to your protection. Now, I am going to leave that card in the upright position for you guys, even though it came out in the reverse position. I am not going to leave it in the reverse position. I'm going to leave it in the upright because throughout this reading, the energy of that rune, it, it, it should... It should affect you, okay? And hopefully you'll start to feel um, more calm as well, okay? Algis is, is really, really good for that. It, it, it's got a very calming, potent energy to it, as well as protections. So hopefully that, that's going to help to increase on your protection levels. Right, so with that being said, let's pull in your oracles we'll start pulling your tarot and then your guidance okay right so it's going on for our cancerian collective please for the month of april 2024 thank you what does our cancerian collective need to know about please what does our cancerian collective need to know what guidance do you have for our cancers please okay I'm going to leave that one in reverse just for the time being because that one fell from the bottom of the deck, okay? So there is lethargic, tired, exhausted energy connected to whatever message that one is for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> you can tell a lot about the energy that you're working with by the way that your deck handles, okay? The way your deck handles is equally as important as the message that actually comes out, okay? Oh, Okay. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Right. So I will say if anybody's feeling particularly sensitive right now or just sensitive by nature, um, the way that I read is probably not going to be for you. Uh, the reason why I say that is because I do not sugarcoat, right? I don't seek to offend either, but I definitely don't sugarcoat. I tend to approach difficult topics as honestly as I can. I'm, I'm not going to bullshit the read, okay? Um, you do have a bit of an issue that's going on here, Cancers, for certain. So your first message out was the moth, now, for me as a reader, moth energy can indicate attractions for one, but it's mostly for me, it's going to be addictions, okay? It's like someone can't quite help themselves, like a moth to a flame. Um, now, I've been reading for many, many, many years, more years than I would care to count. And the moth energy has always come out for individuals who either are struggling with or are dealing with an individual who is trying to cope with some kind of addictions. And it usually is some kind of substance abuse. Okay. I'm not going to go into the, the details. You guys know what that is. Um, and as well, like YouTube AI, it's incredibly sensitive. I've got to be careful how I word things because of the, the AI it can flag certain words, okay? You guys know what substance abuse is, right? Someone is dealing with an individual who is an addict of some kind, or that could be your own energy. So if in the past you had been struggling with addictions, you could be feeling those old temptations creeping back up to the surface. You've also got the rat and the snake. Okay, so again, we are going to get further information, but it does indicate to me, Cancers, that it's very likely, especially with the algaes coming out in reverse position, very, very likely that for some of you, not all of you, you're going to have a difficult month when it comes down to dealing with other people or another person specifically. Okay. Your garlic is all about protection, preservation and security. You must, absolutely must preserve your 
protection, your right to security. Okay, everybody, it is a human right to feel safe. And someone who is resonating with this energy does not feel safe because another person or their addiction or someone's addiction is putting someone straight in the line of danger here. Okay, now I don't want to scare anybody. Okay, and again, that re that message is absolutely not going to resonate with everybody. Okay, if it doesn't resonate with you, count yourself lucky, move the fuck on. <laughs> okay, right. So the one th the the message that came out and it felt really lethargic is the palm. So the palm, obviously, that's all about um, fortune telling, uh, divination being able to predict the future okay now with the way that that came out it was very tired it could well be that i am speaking to a cancerian collective who are very spiritually gifted and this could well be negative energy that's coming towards you from one of your clients could be one of your own viewers, anything like that, okay? Someone is sending you negative ass shit. You need to up your game when it comes down to your protections, okay? You could be feeling a little bit disconnected from your spiritual gifts at this point in time because someone sending you that negative ass energy is making your judgment clouded. It's making your spiritual vision clouded. It's making you feel incredibly tired. Um, your energy levels depleted. You get up and go it has been affected. It's like it takes you such a long time at the moment to get going. And that's going to be the reason why. Because someone is sending you negative shit. Okay. Right. So let's get into the other messages that these cards are pulling up. Changes, new beginnings and transformation. Beautiful energy, okay? You are going through a lot of intense changes at this point in time. It's vital that you take your time and recognize that this is a process, okay? You're going through an intense metamorphosis. This is going to require you to be empathic towards yourself, which I feel has been missing, okay? You've got um, self-discovery, destiny, and acknowledgement, okay? So, again, energetically-wise, you could be feeling that someone isn't acknowledging you. They're not acknowledging your presence. You could be feeling ignored, left out, um, or otherwise being taken advantage of. And this change then would be something that you yourself are wanting to initiate but perhaps not knowing how to initiate that change, okay? Your rats, growth and personal wealth and complacency. Yes, I definitely do feel that someone is taking you for granted. They have become complacent, okay? And it's also somebody that you, for whatever reason, you feel that you just can't walk away from them. Okay, for, for some reason, you feel that they are your responsibility. Now, they could well be your responsibility. Some of you could be really worried about one of your kids that is struggling with addictions. Okay, then, yeah, if, it, if that is one of your kids, it doesn't matter how old or how young they are, they are still your responsibility, right? Um, if that's more to do with a friend, a family member, a romantic partner... I hate to say it, Cancers, but if that's the case, then they're not your responsibility, okay? Because they're not your kids. They're, they're grown-ass adults. They're their own responsibility. Now, I don't like this energy because I definitely have been feeling for many, many, many months, Cancers, that someone has definitely been taking advantage of you, okay? And I have an issue with that. I have an issue with someone taking advantage of anybody. It, it really gets my back up quite badly okay uh garlic protection preservation and security which we've already gone through definitely get on top of these protections okay energetic or otherwise uh your snake seduction temptation and possibilities 
Okay. So again, we, we've been through that snake energy with you. I fully appreciate the snake symbology in different decks and for different people means different things. I fully agree and appreciate that snake symbology, normally it is about healing, growth, outgrowing, shedding the old skin. I absolutely agree. This deck, it is very specific. Someone is being seduced either by another person or by an addiction. Take it as it resonates. And that someone could be you. It could be someone that you're dealing with. Take it as it resonates. It's a general read. Okay, It's really, really difficult <clears throat> to pinpoint the exact direction that these energies come from in general reads. Okay. Because we, we do tend to pull from a lot of energy, even, even if it's just 100 people. 100 viewers on YouTube doesn't look like much, does it? But 100 people, actually, that's quite a lot of people. That's quite a lot of energy. Can you imagine being in a room that is full of 100 people? Yeah, you will quickly see that that's a lot of people, okay? And a lot of energy. Right, so... With that being said, I am now going to pull from our tea leaf oracle, okay? And completely random, so what's going on for our Cancerian Collective, please? What does our Cancerian Collective need to know, please? Okay. Ooh, clicky joints. The desk, pay attention to your work. That's fallen underneath the moth energy. So pay attention to your work, Cancers. Somebody could be trying to distract you from your true calling, from your highest path. Someone could be trying to distract you from what you're, you've been uh, put on this planet to do, basically. Okay. There could also be changes going on in your work, in your career, okay? Uh, something to do with your responsibilities also is changing, okay? So be vigilant and pay attention. For your palm energy, is the chair empty? Someone is leaving your life. Now, that's not necessarily bad news, okay? Um... I do get the strong feeling here, Cancers, that you, you've been picking up on someone uh, slowly but surely disconnecting themselves from you. And Spirit's saying, yeah, you, you have been picking up on that energy, Cancers. It's probably going to serve you well to let that person go, okay? Whoever that is, whatever the circumstances are, try not to hold on too, too tightly to anybody who is not contributing to your life in a way that makes you feel safe. Okay, clearly there is an individual around you, Cancers, that is making you feel unsafe. And that is the person that I highly suspect is leaving, leaving your life. Okay. For your rat energy, the vulture, yeah, shit me. Depression, anxiety, and worry that someone is against you. Yeah, what is it they say about paranoia? Just because you feel that, that everyone's against you, it doesn't mean to say that they're not. Cancers, your intuition has been on point. Okay, it's been on point. You felt something negative around you, someone negative around you. You might have made excuses for them. You might have been gaslighting yourself. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just imagining it. It's probably just my own depression, my own anxiety. They're, they're not actually against me. It's just my, per it's just my perception of it. Um, yeah, even in the face of evidence, you've been gaslighting yourself, Cancers. So Spirit saying, whoa, 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 Cancers, Cancers, take a seat a minute, take a seat. Think about all of this logically. Look at all of the evidence. Look at everything that this person's done. Everything that they've said. The way that they've made you feel. Okay. 
stop gaslighting yourself. You've got to. You've known deep down that this individual is untrustworthy. You have to lead with that. You cannot be complacent when it comes down to dealing with the person who makes you feel unsafe. That is literally your survival instincts going, in, going into overdrive whenever this person's around. You cannot and should not ignore your own survival instincts. For your garlic is the broken ring, a parting of the ways in either romance or business. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, easily, the person who makes you feel unsafe could well be a business partner or a work colleague. Okay, it's not necessarily going to be a romantic partner. Okay, although, yes, it absolutely can be for some of you. It can be. Can be. Uh, and, I'm, again, I'm not going to pull any punches. For the past couple of years that I've been reading for the Cancerian Collective, there have been a couple of run-in themes that's been going on. And for year one cancers is our Cancerian Collective have been getting abused mentally, physically, spiritually and emotionally for a very, very long time. Very long time. And we're still seeing that coming out. There's a split here, okay? And when that split happens, it's going to improve your security. It's going to improve how safe you feel, okay? For your snake, clarified with a dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past. Yeah, so you do have additional... F oh. <laughs> random you do have additional finances that's coming in here for you cancers and you might feel tempted to um blow it all in one big chunk okay um that's not going to be advised because remember it, it is the snake energy that this is clarifying definitely do be more cautious more careful with your finances especially for those of you who are expecting this big payout don't go out and blow it all in one hit okay uh, don't be tempted by um how do we say shopping therapy okay because it's actually going to make you feel worse after and, and not better okay retail therapy there we go avoid retail therapy all right can you tell us more about this energy for our cancerian collective please what is going on for our cancerian collective what is this message with the moth for cancers please what is this message with the moth for our, thank you, the Queen of Swords? Yeah, it's time for you to be direct, Cancers. That's how you're going to initiate this change, by being direct. And again, something to do with evidence and facts. Um, not making any emotional decisions right now, but make decisions based on proof and logic, okay? And be direct with, with your communication. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Can you clarify the message with the desk? For cancers, please. Whoa, thank you. The Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Coins and the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. So again, it's like finances in Korea look to be absolutely amazing. Okay. If you're not feeling that right now, then it's saying that your finances and your career is on its way up. Okay. So what you need to be focused on right now is your emotional health. Okay. Um, you've definitely got an, an increase in your finances. And the issue is, Cancers, you could be feeling that someone's just using you for your money, using you for a place to live, using you for what it is that, that you can provide. And you definitely do provide because you've got the Empress energy right here. Don't pay attention to the gender, okay? It's not about the gender. It's about the energy polarization of the feminine and the masculine principle 
right? We, we've got how fortune favors the brave. Okay, so you're trying to create something, you're trying to improve on your life. And the one area that you could be refusing to look at is who you're spending the majority of your time with. Okay, remember it's all dolphin, it's very sociable energy. So you're trying to make improvements to your finances and career and that, that is working really, really well. So whatever you're doing in that regard of your life, keep doing it because clearly it is working, okay? You are seeing improvements and increases there. But there, it's almost like that taboo message was about um, how you refuse to make changes when it comes down to the people that, that you're then associating with. Okay, so that, that does need to be taken a closer look at. All right, what's going on with the empty chair? Who is it that's leaving Cancer's life, please? Thank you. The, a seven of coins off balance. Okay, so that is Taurus energy. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You might not be. Okay, it's just about the energy. Um... It's more to do with like money, values, possessions, income, assets, property. That that would be a Taurus type energy. Okay, so you could be looking at that particular area of your life and figuring out actually what is it that what is it that I value? Okay, um, with your seven of coins coming out off balance. The person who's leaving your life is someone that you have put a lot of investment with, okay? You've either been with them for a very long time or you spent a long time with them um, or otherwise a hefty investment that, that you have made into that particular uh, connection. If this is about a job that you're leaving, again, it's probably a job that you've spent most of your life doing, okay? Just take it as it resonates. I do feel that this is more to do with an individual for the vast majority of you, though. Okay. Um, Spirit saying, look, you've been giving to that situation for the longest time and you've not been receiving anything back other than depression, anxiety, stress and worry. Okay. So this loss, it's not actually a loss at all. Okay. What's going on with the rat and the vulture, please, for cancers? What's going on with the rat and the vulture for cancers? Thank you. Five of cups and the two of coins. Your five of cups is regrets, depression. Your two of coins is balancing things out again. And in this particular deck, it's taking on the challenge in order to receive the balance that, that your life is sorely missing. Okay. Someone is working against you. Tell us more about the energy that's working against our Cancerian Collective, please. Tell us more about the energy that's, thank you. The Ten of Swords could be a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. But the Ten of Swords is an ending. It's a betrayal. You've got a backstabber around you, Cancers. Someone who has become ungrateful. Someone who is complacent. Someone who stresses you out. They're a backstabber. Tell us more about Ten of Swords for Cancers, please. Ten of Swords for Cancers. Who is this that's working against Cancers, please? Thank you. Came from behind the deck, the Sun, Leo Energy. It's under there, Six of Cups. It's someone that you've known for a very, very, very long time. It 
could be an old friend, someone that you met when you were quite young with the Six of Cups. They're very egotistical, very, very selfish. They, they only think about their own happiness and to hell with everybody else. It's like they have to come first and foremost, come what may. This is a very dysregulated individual. It's someone who basically has the opinion that their happiness is your responsibility. And as soon as you stop doing what they tell you to do or what they're expecting you to do, they backstab you. They betray you. It's spoiled brat. Tell us more about the energy that's working against our Cancerians, please. It's working against Cancers, please, this time. Lovers and the Emperor. Yeah. For some of you, that's a romantic partner. They've probably cheated on you in the past. And if that is true, then you, you already know that this person's cheated on you in the past. I'm not giving you any new information. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This person is currently speaking to another individual who might well live at a distance. This betrayer or this betrayal is going to be because this person here that you're dealing with has probably met someone online and is speaking to this person online and has fallen for them. The, the, this is discard energy. Someone that you're dealing with is in the process of discarding you in favour of another. Again, business or romantic. Take it as it resonates. Clarify the parting of the ways for cancers, please. What's this? Thank you. The devil. They've been seduced. They've been tempted. It's almost like whoever this individual is, they've been using you for supply. And now you're running on empty. They've already lined up their new supply. That is their character. That's who they are. That, that's how they operate. They use people for supply. Can you tell us about the snake? Because mind how you had that snake and it was seduction, temptation, possibilities. Really, really similar to the devil energy anyway. Because your devil energy is seduction, temptation, addictions. Clarify the snake for cancers, please. They've been seduced away either because someone else has made out to them that they've got more money or that person seems to think that someone else is going to make them happy, which is ridiculous. Yeah, five of coins at the bottom of the deck. Leaving you feeling abandoned, look. See with that polar bear floating. Leaving you feeling abandoned. Temperance off balance, page of swords off balance, and the six of swords off balance. Right, so this person, if they've already left, um, then it's very possible that when they left they realized quickly that they made a mistake and that they're trying to return to you 
okay because they they've ended up in a world of shit basically and they're trying to return to you um so definitely do be careful with that um if they're about to leave let them because they are going to end up in a world of shit and then they're going to try and come back okay that is definitely the person who is sending you negative energy or gi or just giving you negative vibes. That's who's doing it. They they've got a short temper. They're very very impatient. They they they're looking for instant gratification with that temperance off balance and the page of swords off balance. They're looking for instant gratification. And when you don't provide it to them, they seek it elsewhere. That's a spoiled brat. That's a grown-ass adult who acts like a three-year-old when they don't get their own way. I can guarantee it. That's who your snake is. They're a pathetic waste of skin. I I have got no sympathy for people who treat other humans like that. I've got no sympathy for them at all. Can I have a healing message for our Cancerian Collective, please? Ooh. Ah, okay. The way the deck's handling. This individual's going to try and start an argument with the Cancers, and you have to stand your ground. I'm hearing word salad. So they're very good at circular arguments. Okay. You got first quarter moon in Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, you might not be. Okay. You could have Scorpion placements in your own chart. Your first quarter moon is all about taking action. Okay. So it says when you face obstacles, you must not waver. With the first quarter moon right it is time for you to keep pushing forward tackle the challenges as and when they present themselves have confidence and faith in yourself also okay and be committed to your cause and your cause is your own safety security and protection you must be committed to that cause Okay. This one says, release your blocks. Yeah. <clears throat> so this individual has been blocking you from finding someone who is going to be loving, kind, generous. Okay. They, they have been blocking you from you finding your true person. At the bottom of the deck is new moon in Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could have Piscean placements in your own chart. Again, not necessarily though. Okay. Um, just take it as it resonates. New moon energy is about new beginnings, right? So it is time for you to start again, wipe the slate clean, gather up all of your thoughts and make a plan. Okay, that's new moon energy. And this one says, attune to the divine. Get back in touch with your spiritual gifts and attune to the divine. Okay. What else for our Cancerian Collective, please? Cancerian Collective. Oh, life lessons again. Interesting. Life lessons again. So, yeah, I, I feel that this is indicating one group of Cancerians are currently going through this betrayal and then another group of Cancerians have already gone through this betrayal but spirits warning you that this betrayer is making their way back towards you okay 
Now it's completely up to you whether or not you feel that you've already learned that lesson, you don't need to repeat it, or if you're going to welcome back this person. It's completely up to you, okay? But there is a strong message here about life lessons. And at the bottom of the deck, the light in you can lead the way. Yeah. The light in you can lead the way. So you know what the right thing to do is in this scenario. That's very hermit type energy. Okay. Soul searching. Search deep within yourself before you make a decision about whether or not you're going to welcome back this person. Okay. It's not anyone else's place to tell you what you can and can't do. Okay. It's your life. It's your decision. Tarot is just a guide. Tarot and spirit is telling you, look within yourself. Do you feel that you're worth more? Or do you feel that this individual is the best that you're going to get? It's up to you. Right, so to conclude your reading, Cancers, I am using one of our cheeky swearing decks. Now, obviously, if sarcasm and swearing is not your sort of thing, then you do not have to listen, okay? I just like to use them at the end of a read because it can really help uplift the energy, okay? Right, um, also, <laughs> do not take any lifestyle advice from this deck because this deck is particularly um, a bit oof. Right. <laughs> Today I'm happy and peaceful, thanks to that Xanax. There we go. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. I just genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to somebody. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Don't forget to go check out all of your other signs. And I've got daily readings as well that you might well resonate with. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.